it really seems to me that the if I had to boil down the drive for the anti-aging movement down, when I look at it, what I see is that the underpinning concept is really a fear of death. Yeah. I don't really see people wanting to live because they have so much love to give and so much more to create. It's really like they're running from death and they're desperate for the pill or the whatever they can get that's going to keep their body alive because they're afraid of death. That's a very shallow way to go about life because it overlooks a myriad of, of much more evolved concepts of consciousness, the soul, life, God, spirituality, and the list just goes on and on, right? I think you're right. I think this is fundamental. This is part of the human condition. I think at some point in our development, we're afraid of death, yeah. right? We're afraid of our own mortality. But if we don't move beyond that, if we don't, if we, if we can't open our mind to something beyond this idea of, of, of fear of death, then, then we're going to get caught. And, and ultimately, if we're afraid of death, that means we're going to be afraid of life. That's right? it. We, we cannot have both, right? So, so really, it's, it's worth meditating on death, right? It's, it's getting real with our mortality. And the more we do that, the more we accept our, and, and I think in our Western culture, we don't see death enough, right? right. We're, 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 we don't hunt. We don't look at death in yeah. the face. When, when, when loved ones die, we don't have a connection to death. And if we did, I think there's the, the fear would, would dissolve a little bit. Mm. If we got a little more intimate, if we meditated on death, mm -hmm. we thought about our own mortality, it brings us back to the same conclusion, which is I'm here now. This is precious. And, and, and this idea, I mean, it's in our language, right? Yeah. Anti-aging. We're, we're, we're literally in denial of this process of aging.